Oh my god, can I just talk about something right quick? I think it's so sad, right? But I'm not judging, but I just think it's so sad when people find themselves in a moment of darkness. And instead of taking that time to build and, um, you know, get to know themselves over, they go back to things that that, that mean them no good. And they they depend on things to keep them strong, like alcohol or drugs. I think that's really sad. But what also I find sad is that they don't understand <laughs> that that time of darkness is meant for you to be alone so you can understand yourself. It's for you to build. The, you letting the things back in your life that meant you no good means that the cycle is going to continue. It's never going to end for you because you're never learning the lesson. The lesson can never be complete because you keep going back. There's a lesson to be learned and you are missing it. You keep going back and then the cycle repeats and you wonder why your life is in shambles because you won't stop. You won't stop to reflect and be by yourself to understand. Like I just, I don't understand sometimes why people can't see that. Like, I don't know. I just, I think it's crazy. Like, again, I said, I'm not judging, but it's something that I noticed like it's crazy to me you go back to that man that whooped your ass because you don't want to be alone but being alone you were in peace you were in peace yeah your thoughts were probably roofing and you probably were having like thoughts that you didn't want to have so being back with this, something familiar gave you comfort but also at the same time it gave you more stress because he's beating your ass again so was it worth it? Was it worth it? No, it wasn't. You gave up alcohol. And then when you were in your time of darkness, you went right back to it. Because it brought you comfort. But now you're you're back. Uh, what do you call it when people um, go back to the drugs? I forget what the word is. And I don't want to be ignorant right now. But I forget what that is. You relapsed. Now you relapsed. That's what happens. You relapse now. And guess what? Now it starts again. And now you have to go through this whole process of relapsing and relapsing and relapsing until you're ready to give it up. And then when you're ready to give it up and the challenge is presented to you, give it up and be, be with your thoughts, then you can't take it and you go back and it never ends. It's like, you're not strong enough to battle your demons. I don't understand. You're not strong enough to battle your demons without these crutches. And that is what is going to always keep you in your fucking constant misery. Be strong enough to battle your demons alone. Okay. Like I, uh, again, like I said, I'm, I'm really not judging because a lot of people don't understand but sometimes it's really hard for me to understand how you don't understand because I understand. <laughs> and me, I'm a proper person that feels like if I understand it and I know it's common sense, then it should be common sense to you. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. It's not how it works. It's just the world we live in. But yeah, you have to really be willing to live with yourself. That's why I cherish the fact that I can be alone and do things alone. Because I don't need somebody to hold my hand through anything. I don't need to use people as a crutch. I don't need to use anything as a crutch to make me feel comfortable. I'm comfortable already knowing that I'm honest with myself. I own it. The problem is there. I'm going to fix it. Like, what can you say? There's nothing you can say about me. So I don't care. But it's just like... People that don't get it, they just constantly suffer. They go in this cycle of suffering. And I just think that's so sad. I need people to really wake up. This video was way longer than I wanted it to be. But I made this video just to say, wake up, okay? 
wake the fuck up. You have to go through your darkness to get to the sunshine. And I know that sometimes it may seem like the sunshine is not going to come. But trust me, your reward will be great once you realize you do not need those crutches. Once you actually get it, you will be rewarded. Trust me, I know I've been there. I've been rewarded time and time again. Trust me, I know this. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Trust me when I tell you I used to be you. Okay? Trust me. The reward will be great. Okay? So I'm going to leave. Um, I hope that somebody took something from this and somebody understands it. I may be... No, I'm not even going to say that. I'm just going to leave. Because <laughs> I was about to say something, but I'm, I'm just going to leave them. It was going to be, like, about plans to do something, like, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. I'm not sure. Because I have a lot of shopping. I should, see, I'm still talking. I'm still doing it. I, I, I just, I want to, but I want to give you an idea. I don't want to leave you hanging. Like, I want to give you an idea of what it was going to be. So I was going to, I might as well just say it now, because I'm never going to get over it if I don't. <laughs> so, but I was going to, I have a lot of shopping to do this week. And I was thinking about, like, maybe doing a haul of the things that I bought, but I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I might do it. I kind of wanted to do a vlog too. I don't know, but I was just like, uh, I don't feel like doing all that because I got so much stuff to do. So anyway, I, like I said, I hope somebody took something from this. And I hope that um, you understand what I'm saying. I hope you get it. I hope you take it in. And I hope it lives in your skin, in your brain, and goes through your brain. And, it, and then it goes through your body so you can understand. <laughs> all right, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs>